this is Scott with Learn to Stop Hunger. Today we're going to take a look at how to add a favorites icon to your website. If you don't know what a favorites icon is, uh, go ahead and open up a web browser to some of your favorite sites and you're likely to get a good example. Uh, I've got the Learn to Stop Hunger website open here and actually for this website I never had yet defined a favorites icon and so it's just displaying a default icon here. You can see it up on the tab and also in the address bar. So that's a, an example of just a default icon being used. And then if I go over here to MSN, you can see that they actually have specified a favorites icon, which for them is a butterfly. You can see it here. You can see it over in the address bar. If you save the this to your favorites, you would see it in your favorites menu. Likewise, if you put a shortcut out on your desktop, you would see it there as well. So that's what a favorites icon is. And now uh, the next thing that I'm going to do is to go ahead and create a new website. And I use Visual Studio Express for web 2012. Um, you can use other tools. You know, simple tools even like Notepad or Notepad++ would be fine. Eclipse is another favorite that some people use for development purposes. So I'm going to go ahead and say New Website. And then I'm going to go with the ASP.NET empty website and specify a name of Cameras. Because this is a website that focuses on cameras and photographers. So I need to go ahead and add my simple web page. I'm going to add an HTML page there. I'll call it index because index is a frequent default name for a web page. And I'm going to go ahead and type in a title. Hello photographers. And that's the title that appears in the header of the page. I'm also going to add a large header for the top of the page. Hello, photographers. And finally, I will add just a simple paragraph of text. Let's see, welcome to my camera website. All right, I'm going to go ahead and save that, and I will launch Internet Explorer. And you can see the website in action here. There's my large header. Here's my title. And here's my paragraph. You can see there's no favorite icon to find. I've got just the default Internet Explorer icon there. So we're going to change that. We're actually going to add our own custom favorite icon. Uh, the next thing that we need to do is to go ahead and add the link tag. And I'm going to copy that in. You would actually add that up inside the head portion of your web page. I'll add it up here before the title. I'm going to save my web page there after pasting it in. And this is referencing a graphic called favicon.png, which I believe that is the default name um, for these graphics. And from what I've read, uh, a 16 by 16 PNG graphic is ideal for this purpose. So the next step, what I need to do is go ahead and add the graphic to my website. And if you go out, if you don't have a 16 by 16 PNG handy and you're not an artist, some searching will bring you to some nice sets of icons that you can leverage. One example of that is the fam 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 set of icons, which I have often used. I'm going to go ahead and add a picture of a camera here to my website. Just drag it in. And there it is. It's called camera.png. You can see a little preview of it there. And the next thing I need to do is rename it so it coincides with the this default favicon.png name that I'm already referencing. I want to go ahead and hit the Save button. And now I'm going to launch Internet Explorer. And as you can see, 
it has loaded my favorite icon. So that's really about all there is to adding a favorite icon to your website. Um, another thing worth mentioning, I have seen problems in the past with the web browser picking up the appropriate icon. Uh, you know, after you've changed it, it may still display that default icon for a while. And one thing you can try to get around that problem is to clear the cache on the web browser and uh, refresh and pick up the latest. And hopefully that will clear up the problem if you do encounter that issue. Anyway, I hope that this video has been helpful to you. And I wish you the best of luck in your web development endeavors.